Right here I set up a quick way to have a extra tank with your airbrush mini compressor. So I put the thing in the pressure gauge valve that is a half size of the I don't remember the size of this thing but it's the half of this and this one is the same as this one so I got a nipple right here who goes straight up to there and another nipple to go is inside here and I'm running on full pressure Let me get out of the way I'm running that on full pressure and takes a little bit to kick in back again. Yeah, it's a little bit instead of just having the hose and instantly kicking in. And I did a little bit there. Just practicing, it went pretty good. And pretty good. Pretty dark, you know. Yeah, that's it. Quick and easy. I got a, a bigger one. I need a bigger one, and I need to put this thing right here in between those so I can regulate the pressure. Or I could just buy, yeah, I'm going to do this probably, maybe. Have a water trap and a regulator right here so I can just leave it like that and, and build something and probably maybe get a bigger one. So I can have more time of airflow. So I don't use too much of the switch because I have 30,000, you know, switching capabilities. So if you go past that, it's not, it's not going to work. So I need to have a longer tank, a bigger tank to fill so this guy doesn't switch so much so I save him a little because this thing is kind of a hard to find I don't know where you can find this thing probably on the US you can find this thing but you cannot find this thing on China because in China is much cheaper so that's it that's quick simple and you got a, a very nice airflow in there so let's see on full open how much I'm going to drop. There we go. In four you open. Let's see where I'm going to drop. Gradually drops out. It's getting darker in here. Yeah, at 30. I don't think it's going to drop more than that. That's probably it. Let's see the time we go up there again. Let's see. That's it. So it's simple. The most simple way I found is straightforward. That's it. However, this thing is so overkill for a compressor like this because this thing would do like, I don't know, 200 psi. And you know, this thing's just going to put 57 psi. So you could just use bottles like this one. You know, one, two, three, four. As many as one, you just drill a hole on, on a cap and put some epoxy in, make some fittings like, like I did there, put some hose if you want to have multiple ones and don't want to buy a bunch of those things and make it cheaper. So yeah, just a bottle can work as well. I'll maybe try it with the bottle sometime. So that's it, it's much more simple using a bottle.